Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, November 23rd, 2022. It's Thanksgiving week. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Wednesday, November 30th, very end of the month, is our first quarter moon at 53% visible, rising just afternoon and setting the next early, early morning. The sun has some sunspots pointing directly towards Earth right now. They rotate around from that left side and uh, NOAA's put out some alerts for geomagnetic storms. Looking at drought conditions from last week to this, take a look at the northern front range and spots out here on the plains. You can see they're getting just a little bit worse. We definitely need more moisture, uh, but not a lot changed. Nationally, there's a little re relief in the west, a little relief in Texas, but not much else changes. Looking at our new snowpack uh, sequence for this year, going back a couple weeks, we were above normal, then to normal, and then this week just a hair below normal at 93%. Not a lot of snow is expected at this point, so you know, it's okay. We're, we're doing fine, hanging in close. Talking about the snow that we did have, the high country didn't get a lot, uh, but I've zeroed in on Boulder County here with Longmont getting two to three to four inches of snow, four inches nearby, uh, and then over in Boulder, 12 inches, nine, eight uh, areas to the east of town, four to six inches. But uh, yeah, it was a it was a good healthy snowfall. Down around Lafayette, we got about four inches or so. Looking at the liquid equivalent of precipitation, and it really was a northern. Colorado Front Range Mountains area, the, Colo the Springs area, Colorado Springs, got a little bit more than expected, which is nice for them, but uh, yeah, it was kind of expected to not go much further south in Denver, but it did. Severe weather for the week, or at least the first three days of this week, uh, nothing nearby, a little bit of stuff in Texas on Wednesday, on Thursday we have a marginal risk on the Houston area, and on Friday it's along the Gulf Coast. The National Weather Service really overdoes snow, I think, in this forecast. We have this big area here for Wednesday, and that's not happening. And for Thanksgiving, same thing. Maybe a few snow flurries, maybe a dusting. The stuff comes over the mountains, but not lots even going to happen in the mountains. So I, I don't know what they're seeing. Here's our severe weather chances down in the south. And same thing for Friday, and we are truly high and dry on Friday. Smoke, not much in the whole nation, little wisps here and there, but nothing near Longmont. Our normal high temperatures dropped from 48 to 46, so the drop is slowing down. Nighttime expected lows, 21 to 19. In the early part here, we are above normal uh, weekend and into early next week. And Tuesday, we plummet with a storm system that should bring some pretty good snows, and then it'll take a while to recover after that. Water vapor satellite image from Wednesday p.m. shows a low here in the Four Corners area, but it's too far south to really do much. So maybe that's what the Weather Service thought was significant, but we get downslope off the mountains and you don't get precipitation easily from that. Highlights of the weather in the week coming up uh, Thursday noon, we do have that low in, over New Mexico rolling around. It really goes slowly once it cuts off from the jet stream flow. We're on the wrong side of that low for any significant precipitation. It's just too far south. And the GFS supports that with a little bit of rain in South Colorado and a little bit of snow in the mountains of New Mexico. The real precipitation is happening over central and eastern Texas. Tuesday noon is our next storm, and this is a pretty vigorous trough coming into the west. We're on the uh, right side of the uh, trough where all the lift is occurring. We should have some good upslope uh, conditions from that, and the model shows that. Pretty heavy snows in the mountains, moderate snow on the plains, pretty tight gradient here with inflowing air. The low is kind of far south down in northern New Mexico, but other runs will probably make that wiggle around a bit. So let's take a look at the animation. There's our low rolling around in New Mexico, northern Texas, uh, sorry, northern Mexico into Texas, really goes slowly. The next trough comes in to kind of scoop it out over the weekend, and we get kind of ridging over us, warming us up, and zonal flow, and the next trough starts digging in for our possible snowstorm on Tuesday-ish, and then that pushes through, 
Thursday, the December 1st, we have really east, a west to east zonal flow for a few days before another trough comes in. Saturday, December 3rd into Sunday, and this is a pretty big trough rolling around over Texas, so we'll see what that does. Looking at temperatures, we do have our current cool air moving out, a little cold front coming down associated with that low staying way down in northern Mexico and Texas, New Mexico and like that. We stay above normal through the weekend, a little cool air uh, Sunday into Monday, but overall above normal. Here comes our next cold front for Tuesday, pushing powerfully down the uh, eastern plains and over the entire state into Thursday, so it'll be a chilly midweek. There's the next storm, and that's extremely cold air, 30 degrees or so below normal, uh, flooding down with a front next weekend, and probably an associated pretty heavy storm. We'll see. So a little bit of snow in the mountains uh, Wednesday into Thursday into Thanksgiving, and it dries out quickly later on Thanksgiving. For Saturday in the weekend, it's nice and dry, Stuff, exciting stuff happening in the deep south. There's a little bit of snow for Sunday night, Monday morning, and then the next storm comes in for Tuesday. There it is, a, a pretty good period of snow, so you could see travel impacts and like that going on then. Here's Thursday, we're dry, Friday, we're dry. Here it comes. Saturday, December 3rd, and another storm system is definitely gathering in the west. Snow in the mountains moving in, and it kind of fades out before it gets east of the Rockies. We'll see. That's a long time away. So over the next five days, a little bit of precipitation in the mountains and down south. The Weather 5280 folks fixed their snow products, so we're back to having that. And over the next five days, we have a touch of snow down into Boulder, almost to Longmont in Palmer Divide area, <coughs> a little more in the mountains. For the next 10 days up to a quarter inch of precipitation, uh, right along and west of I-25, less east of I-25, and the snow is a little more significant with maybe two inches, maybe three inches, uh, four inches around Boulder. Um, it's not a massive storm, but it's more snow and it's more moisture. Better stuff up in the western slopes and higher elevation mountains. So we have 40s at the uh, middle of the week and Thanksgiving, 20s at night. We get to the 50s for the early weekend, 30s at night for at least one night. We drop back to the 40s and 50s for Monday and then the front comes in on Monday dropping us to the teens and Tuesday is really cold with a pretty good chance of snow. For frequent weather updates and local news, uh, it's these Two sites are becoming really fantastic. Longmont Leader and BroomfieldLeader.com. Check them out. This has been Chief Neurologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.